नमस्ते एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड एवरी वन हु इज वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन ओके सो चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आर डिस्कशन ऑन द टॉपिक फॉर्मैटिंग अ डॉक्यूमेंट सो लास्ट टाइम वी हैव लर्न मेनी फॉर्मैटिंग फीचर्स ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर क्लियर विद ऑल दैट फीचर्स नाउ टूडे will be learning many more features like how to give line spacing how we can give bullets how we can give border to the whole page of the document or to a particular paragraph and many more so are you ready okay so i am moving to the uh, presentation part now and you all can open page uh, lesson number 6 in your computer books okay so children uh, today we are going to learn some more future features uh, with the help of which we can format our document and make it look more attractive so let's start okay so uh, these first four features we have already done yes and i hope you all are clear with it now we'll be starting from the fifth point that is changing text case now what do you mean by changing text uh, text case first now the text which we have written there are five types of options that word provide us that we can change it text mainly you know two that is lower case and upper case in lower alphabets and upper alphabet, uh, upper case we write yes but now i'll explain you how these five works so you can see uh, open page number 56 in your computer books there is a chart given under the heading changing text case same way i have also made a chart here okay so first you can see i have written font case and then example so the first case is sentence case now what is sentence case what i will do i'll select this example that i have written this is a text document and i'll go to home now in home in the font area there are two a written a capital a and a small k that is a change case option so once you'll click on a blue arrow you will get all five case options here now the first case is sentence case you just need to select the sentence which you want to change into sentence case and click on it now i'm i have selected it now you can see all the letters are small first here in this sentence now if i'm pressing sentence case see what happened the t of this word now converted into capital letter because sentence case say that the first letter of the selected sentence that you have selected that it will convert into capital letter so i hope this is clear that what is sentence case now i am copying the same text and putting it in second one where it is written lower case now lower case means all letters should be small but here t is capital now let's see i have selected it what will happen now i am selecting the lower case now you can see again the t is converted into lower case and the whole sentences in lower case letters now this is also clear let's move to the next one now i am again pasting here now i am selecting and what is the case upper case upper case means all letters capital let's see oh okay so this is a test document and all the letters now here are in capital letter now again i am pasting the same sentence and what is here now capitalize each word now the sentence has number of words suppose here it is five words so all the words the first letter of all each word will become capital if we'll use this case now let's try now you can see t i a t and d all these first letters of all the word all the words in this sentence are capital yes next is the toggle case it is very uh, different to the capital i is case where the all the uh, whatever is the sentence 
whatever is this sentence written however it is written it will change now see what change will occur here suppose we have done this so what happened just i'm showing you again i have undo it t is capital here rest is all small yes now see what will happen now only t is small and rest is all capital so howsoever it is written whatever it is in lower case it will change into upper and whatever will be in upper it will change it into lower yes it's clear so these are the all five options how the how you can change the cases font cases okay now the second option we have here is the six number is changing line space so the space between two lines is called line spacing now number 6 and 7 i am selecting these are two different lines right now in the paragraph after this alignment this one uh, check my cursor arrow it's a line spacing now i'll select this now the by default selected line space is 1 yes so if you increase it from here it will increase now you can see the difference i'll little increase into 3 so that you can easily see the difference now you can see the difference yes so this how we have options here also if you want to give some specific you can give here mention it here click okay and it will change fine this is how we can change line spacing now the next is creating bullets or number list now you can see that under this formatting i have made these 10 points that i have to explain all these 10 points in this chapter right now these are all the number list and here are other options also now i'm selecting all these 10 points and i'm going to the bullet option here the in the paragraph the topmost here if you click it it's written bullets if you click it and you'll select any now circles these ones squares so many options are there whatever you want you can go for that all right and if you want numbers then you can go for second option you can put numbers like this you you can put alphabets as well small or capital roman numbers as well Okay, this how we can change. So I hope you are clear with this. Great. Okay. Now the next option here is applying drop cap. Now what is this option? Basically, this option is used by uh, the people those who work with publishing uh, documents, uh, the magazines uh, and the newsletters. to make the uh, magazine more attractive sometimes you must have seen uh, the news in the newspapers also some columns their first letter is little bigger than the e um, other letters of the document just to make it a uh, little attractive uh, they do so so how we can do drop cap now i'm selecting the f from the formatting and i'm going to insert option insert tab here this is under the text it's written drop cap and once you click on drop cap you'll get three options it's none and dropped now i've done drop now you can see the f the first letter is dropped usually we have two options one is normal drop and one is inside the margin so which one you want you can go for that okay i hope it is clear now how drop cap works yes okay Now next is border and shading, and then is inserting pictures. Inserting pictures is not given in your book, but I have uh, included this because it's also a very good feature, and I think you should all know this also now. Now let's see for border and shading. I'm going to a blank page here. Okay. Now in this uh, home page only, if you'll see in the paragraph here, this border is given. after the bucket color there is a border option so if you click on border the last option here is border and shadings click on it now here is options coming page border and shading and border border means you can give a border to a single paragraph as well and to the whole page as well now i'm showing you both the page border i'm selecting first it's by default none i'll click on box or whatever style you want you can go for it there are options that you can go for lines you can change the size 
you can change the color and you can go for it. See a red color bottle is there. Yes. Suppose and if I want to change it, I want something artistic here. Then what I'll do, I'll go to this and then I'll choose some artworks. There, there are many options given. Suppose I'm choosing these balloon ones and I'll click OK. You can see a balloon border is there. There are many options. Okay, so whatever suits best to your document, what you have written, according to that you can put the border. Now, same way as I was telling you that we can, now this is coming to all the pages, right? Now, if I want to only do this paragraph, one border. So, what I'll do, I'll again, I'll select it, I'll again go to border and shading. Now, this time, I'll do borders, not page borders, only borders. And I'll select the color is already there so you can see and it's F is coming in a different border because it's a drop gap to one so this is how it works so I hope you are clear with this also okay so the last thing here is that how we can insert pictures so again like we have done the drop gap we'll go to insert option and the option in the illustration box there is a block, there is first option picture. So I'll click on picture and you'll get a dialog box to insert a picture. Now my, uh, here it is showing the sample pictures which are there in my system. So wherever you have saved, you can just check D drive, E drive, wherever you have saved, you'll open that and you'll click. Suppose here I'll select this penguin picture and after selecting, you'll just have to click insert. Now you can see a picture is here. Yes, this is, you can make it small, you can make it big. Once you click on it, you can see these arrows, double headed arrows are there. You can make it small, you can make it big, you can place it in center, wherever you want. Okay, children, I hope you are clear with all these features which we have discussed. These are very interesting, yes? And with the help of this, you can do many things. You can make cards, right? So, if you want to um, write something uh, for your friend, a letter or something by putting, inserting pictures inside, having the nice border, drop capping, so color changing, many features you have so that you can make a beautiful, attractive uh, greeting card or a letter, right? Okay. So, do try the, all these features so that you can understand and you can remember this all. This is all for this chapter, children. Thank you.